Hey everybody, this is Sarah, um, bringing your good story of the day, and boy do I need it. It's been a long day, and I need a dose of positivity. I Maybe you do too. So here's um, your story. So it comes through, uh, let's see, Milwaukee Neighborhood News, um, and it was provided to the AP, and it takes place in Milwaukee at a school called the Lloyd Street School, which is one of four Milwaukee um, college um, prep campuses. And what happened was um, when the students came back from their break, they, uh, the, in the girls' room, there was negative graffiti and um, basically bullying graffiti and it was um, towards individual students in the school, this is seventh, sixth, seventh grade around there. And so negative messages were directed at individuals, began kind of propping up in the girls' bathroom, and one of the girls that was targeted, um, you know, said in the article she had never been bullied like that before. Um, and yeah, you know, she recognizes that there was always a little bit of bullying, but this was like bullying to a whole nother level through graffiti in the girls' bathroom. So... They tried to figure out who was doing this. The teachers um, would certainly go to the bathroom as soon as the new graffiti was posted. Like a student would say, hey, there's new graffiti, and the teachers would go to try to check it out. Um, so they're trying to figure out the time of day and, um, and whatnot, so monitoring the bathroom. And they never, at, at the end of the day, they actually never figured out who the students were that were putting this graffiti up in the girls' bathroom. But what they did realize, the teachers of the school, was really negatively impacting the students, especially the students that were targeted, but even the other girls, um, because it was just general bullying and, you know, certainly had a negative impact on their overall um, kind of individual feelings, but it was also impacting their schoolwork. So to change the message, um, one of um, the teachers, her name is T T Tiffany Miller, and she was uh, she's a special ed teacher there. She started writing on the mirrors of one of the mirrors of the girls' bathroom, but instead of obviously writing something bad, she wrote something really positive. So things like um, you know in inspirational messages became <clears throat> began appearing, and. Um, she wrote messages to encourage girls to acknowledge their own beauty, to embrace their inner selves, um, you know, kind of to let their spirit, um, you know, flow and shine. And so these really inspirational messages and it actually ended up where girls were wanting to go each day to see these inspirational messages or if they felt bad like if they were having a bad day or they were just feeling like oh just not worth it they would go and read the new message on the mirror and um it definitely turned around the at least initially that kind of negative um negativity that had started the the academic semester um following christmas break and um you know, it. one of the great students said it inspired her to have a good attitude um, and, you know, again, go to read the message. The school also provided um, in support to those individual students that were targeted. So they provided additional support for those girls. But I thought to myself um, a couple things. One, I was bullied when I was a kid, um, when I lived in Virginia, and, you know, it's kind of a horrible thing to experience. Um, it definitely brings down your self-worth, um, especially when you're fifth, sixth grade, which is how old I was when I was bullied. And um, certainly it's something today that, that uh, teachers, regardless of whether you teach, you know, elementary school, high school, per college, I, you know, I teach college students, um, something that we have to address. And I really appreciate this one teacher who switched the message, changed the message um, for these girls. And so, um, yeah, what a really, really nice thing to do. Um, let's see. Uh, and going forward, um, 
you know, we're gonna, they're going to continue to write these messages um, for the rest of the year, and they're hoping to do something um, for the boys' bathroom as well. Um, again, the power of positivity. At least that's what I think. So that's your good story for today. Uh, I hope you had a decent Monday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.